web series Milk, or potentially you know me from my acclaimed short film Help, My Teenage Son Has Tiny Purple Nerves, but today I'm here to talk to you about art, and in particular, experimental art. Experimental art is a fairly broad term which can be manipulated to conform under various themes, styles, ideas and smells. Consequently, there aren't any rules that you should regulate yourself by. Now here are some common questions about bad art. What do you mean by bad art? <clears throat> bad art is kind of like good art except it's bad. Is bad art a worthless art form? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, maybe. Is it good for the kids? Yeah. I'm gonna person like myself because my bad artist. Well, I'm glad you asked. Anybody can become a bad artist. You just need to believe. And once you've finished believing, you need to adopt a pessimistic, nihilistic, and realistic mindset when evaluating art. After taking an extensive look underneath the powdered wigs and phony wine tasting, you too can become a terribly uncomfortable person like myself. This makes a great bad art. I mean, if some guy can profit from a limp banana strapped to a wall, I'm sure that you too can play this repulsive game. Upon acquiring the newly found mentality necessary for bad art, you, too, will be ready for something stupidly out of context. Now, are other art forms attempt to improve upon a pre-existing idea in order to create a new fashion. Bad art takes a pre-existing idea and then sabotages it. Here's something I prepared earlier. It's a collage of my own nipples. For this example, I've taken the classic pop art collage and combined it with an unpleasant theme. Here, I've utilized a well-recognized and iconic format and manipulated it with imagery that nobody wants to see. These images were then digitally altered to emphasize the harsh tones in my purple nap. Of course, nobody really knows the purpose of the male nerf, which is why I've entitled this piece the Milk Duct of Mystery. With artworks such as this one, humans have a tendency to assume that there's a perverse statement being put forth. This is the primary reason you do not see more nipple collages on Instagram. However, we can remedy this pickle. There, see? The robot algorithm won't even know what hit it. This piece is ready for your grandmother's approval. She will, no doubt, hang this upon her wall for all her geriatric friends to admire. or another, art is often used as a commentary for life, beauty, or emotion. If this is in fact true, then we need to understand that modern life is not perfect. Modern beauty borders on ugly, and modern emotion is usually superficial. Life is a mess, and I believe that it would be best if we flexed our creative muscles in a way which constructively organizes our anarchy. In saying that, you should also embrace absurdity. Life is so stupid and you won't survive if you don't laugh at it. Art doesn't need to be beautiful. Sometimes art doesn't need a deeper meaning. Sometimes art is just real ugly 
and real dumb for no reason all the time. Just like people. Finally, I believe that everybody should accept error. Instead of learning from your mistakes, why not embrace them? Why not make those mistakes over and 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 over again until you've perfected the art of imperfected perfection. I'm going to leave you now with a music video I created in 2018. The song in question is entitled Miracum, and it was performed by Discount Karaoke Icon, Hardy Slow Women. The music was constructed by the late Schmitty Skookin and myself. Enjoy. Thank you.